Hey everybody, it's Jack and I hope you're all doing amazing today. Today's video is going to focus on the topic of monthly dividend stocks. So I'll be going over three or maybe four really solid Canadian dividend stocks that pay out every single month in the form of dividends. For the simplicity's sake, in this video, I'm actually going to exclude real estate investment trusts or what are known as REITs because they almost all pay a monthly dividend and there's lots of them out there. So for today's video, I'm not going to be covering any real estate investment trusts and I'm actually going to be making a separate video on them probably out next week that will go over three or four of my favorite REITs here in Canada. So definitely stay tuned for that. So let me just quickly touch on the subject of why you might want to hold a monthly dividend paying stock and what are the advantages or disadvantages to doing so. So first and foremost, right at the top of it, the main benefit is that they are paying you monthly. So you're going to be able to generate some monthly cash flow every single month by holding these stocks. This can be extremely beneficial if you're somebody who is using your investments and the dividends made off them to maybe pay off bills or rent every single month. So you rely on that monthly cash flow that is coming in from your dividends. So that's really perk number one, just having that monthly cash flow that you can utilize however you see fit, whether it's paying off bills or reinvesting back into the stock market. And that really leads on to perk number two, the fact that you're getting monthly dividends in the long run actually does allow you to see a little bit of a faster compound interest on your investments rather than a quarterly dividend paying stock because you're getting paid every single month, you're gonna be getting paid slightly faster than a quarterly paying dividend stock. And if you think about it, you're gonna be able to reinvest the money from those monthly dividends back into the stock market at a little bit of a quicker pace, which will allow you to start seeing slight differences in the compound effect over time by just getting that money back into the stock market a little bit faster. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not gonna be a huge, huge noticeable difference, but over time, it will definitely have a little bit of an effect. So that's definitely one thing to keep in mind. The one kind of major negative that I will point out about monthly paying dividend stocks is that if you're somebody who utilizes drip, so reinvesting your dividends to buy more shares of the same stock, maybe you have it automatically set. It can be a little bit harder with monthly paying dividend stocks because if you think about it, since you're getting paid monthly instead of quarterly, you're getting paid more frequently, but each chunk is going to be a little bit smaller than if it were paid quarterly, which means in the big picture to utilize drip, you're going to have to have a larger investment into that monthly paying dividend stock in order to actually get drip every single month and be able to rebuy shares on a monthly basis. So that's kind of the only slight drawback. It's not really a huge drawback, but if you're somebody who really likes drip as an automatic investment style, then monthly paying dividend stocks just mean you're gonna have to have more invested into that stock to be able to get a monthly drip. But those are kind of just the pros and cons of monthly paying dividend stocks. For me personally, I don't have a huge preference when it comes to if my dividends are monthly or quarterly. I do like the monthly dividends because you see it every single month. It definitely is a little bit of a boost and you feel a little bit better because of it. But in the big picture, it's not a huge difference when you're getting paid. You're still gonna be getting paid the same dividend, whether it's monthly or quarterly. Monthly just gets it a little bit faster, but in smaller chunks, like I mentioned. So the first monthly paying dividend stock that I'm gonna cover is one that's in the industrial sector. It's actually a stock I've mentioned here on the channel briefly in the past, but haven't gone in depth into it. The company is a global leader in terms of accessibility devices. So we're talking about personal mobility devices such as special elevators, wheelchair lifts, stair lifts, or customizations to vehicles to help people with either wheelchairs or other impairments get into them. This is an industry that is still relatively young, but growing extremely fast because it is projected that over the next five to 10 years, the percentage of population here in Canada that is gonna be over the age of 65 is going to grow dramatically. And this could be a potential driver for this company to really help it grow in the coming years. The company has been seeing some really promising growth over the past month or two, but with this outlook, it's really gonna be able to hopefully sustain this growth for years to come, making it a great investment. The company in question is Severia Corp, ticker symbol SIS. Severia Corp currently trades at $19.82 per share and has a market cap of $1.26 billion. So this is a mid cap company. And if we look at the dividend yield, it's actually on the smaller sides in terms of dividends. It sits at 2.44%, which equals out to 48 cents per share every single year if you hold Severia Corp. So on a monthly term, you're going to be getting 4 cents every single month. So it's not the highest of dividends. However, Severia Corp has been raising its dividend very nicely over the past few years. Over the past few years, the dividend has gone from 3 cents every single month to incrementally changing to up to 3.5 cents, now sitting at 4 cents. So if they can continue this up, this is a really nice dividend growth stock that is also going to be seeing some great capital appreciation. And in terms of the PE ratio for Severia Corp, it's currently sitting at 39.02. 
So Severe Year Corp does trade at a little bit of a richer evaluation. And if we actually look at the historic five-year average in terms of its PE ratio, it is trading at a little bit of a premium today with that PE ratio sitting around 39. As over the past five years, the average PE ratio for Severia Corp is actually around 33. So it is trading a little bit high today. And if we look at the actual stock chart over the past month, we can see that Severia Corp is actually on a little bit of a dip right now. As in mid-June, it actually ran up to almost $21 per share. It's since then pulled back into the mid-19 range and now is starting to trade up a little bit more at $19.82 is where it currently stands per share. And over the past six months, you can actually see Severia Corp has been growing extremely steadily going from under $15 per share to where it now stands at over $19. So it has been seeing some pretty great growth over the past six months, seeing that share price going up over 40% in that time. And if we look at the five-year chart, we can actually see that Severia Corp is pushing all-time highs. In 2018, it was around that $20 per share range, and it's now pushing those all-time highs again. So I really think if it can kind of break this range and stay above that $20 mark, we're really going to start to see that upwards momentum, especially with what Severia Corp has going for it. The fact that the population in North America is really starting to see a higher percentage be above that kind of 60 to 65 year old range, really starting to see a higher percentage of senior citizens is really going to help Severia Corp and its business model as it does have those assistive devices, which is primarily targeted for that older population. And really, I do think this is a great growth stock for the long term, no matter what. And again, it just pays that monthly dividend. And analysts also see a lot of potential in the stock with all six analyst ratings being a buy. And the average price target is sitting at $23.08, a 16.5% upside. And the high price target is sitting at $25 and around 25% upside from the current prices. So again, there's still a lot of room to grow in this stock over the coming years, and analysts definitely think that is the case. So this is one I'm super excited about and have definitely been watching and is on my watch list going forward. The second monthly paying dividend stock, or I should say second and third, because I'm actually going to be featuring two here as they're two similar companies that are both in the renewable sector. And they're actually both companies that I have featured here on the channel previously, but they are worth bringing up again as they are both really solid monthly paying dividend stocks here in Canada. I'm personally super bullish on the renewable sector as an investment to hold for the next few decades moving forward as the world shift towards more green solutions. I think these are killer as well as the fact that their monthly dividend paying stocks is really just the cherry on top. So the two really solid monthly paying dividend stocks that are in the renewable sector here in Canada, you might have guessed it, is Northland Power, ticker symbol NPI, as well as Transalta Renewables, ticker symbol RNW. But quickly, before we continue on, a quick word from this video's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics ranging from illustration, design, web development, and even finance. Skillshare is perfect for creative and curious people, as well as lifelong learners and really just anyone who's looking to ramp up and add to their skills. Skillshare classes offer a unique combination of video lessons and a class project to really help solidify learning. Skillshare classes are also fit to your schedule and skill level, with most classes being under 60 minutes in length to fit any busy schedule. Recently, I really enjoyed this class on money management for young adults by Cal Hislop. It showcased great money saving techniques as well as some personal finance mixed in. And it's one that I would highly recommend. Not to mention that Skillshare yearly memberships are under $12 a month. And luckily the first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description of this video will get a free trial of a premium membership on Skillshare so that you can help explore your creativity. And Northland Power currently trades at $42.26 per share. It had a good day today, up 1.22%. The company has a market cap of $9.5 billion. So this is a significantly larger company than Severia Corp. And it has a dividend yield of 2.9%. So a little bit higher dividend yield, closer to that 3% range. So a really nice dividend for a stock that I consider to be a growth stock in the renewable space moving forward. And each share of Northland Power yields $1.20 per year as an annual dividend. So that equates to 10 cents per month. And in terms of its price to earnings ratio, it currently sits at just over 35. So this company does trade at a little bit of a higher multiple in terms of other kind of normal dividend stocks. Well, that's kind of what you get when in terms of a growth stock that also has a dividend when it comes to Northland Power and the next renewable stock that I'm going to talk about. And this is pretty normal for the renewable space as it is one that is going to be seeing a lot of growth over the coming decades. So they are usually priced in a little bit into the stock price. So you do see these trade at a little bit of higher multiples. And in terms of how it's been trading over the past little while, if we look at the one month chart, 
we can see that Northern Power has been doing pretty well over the past month. Renewables have really been battling back over the past month, which is nice to see as I'm super bullish on them long term. And Northern Power was trading around $40 a month ago, and it's now sitting above $42, so around a 5 to 6% increase over the past month. And if we look at the six month chart, you can actually see that renewables are trading down over the past six months. And this is the same case for Northland Power. It was actually trading over $50 per share back in February. And then Northland Power actually did an offering. They raised more capital, which also drove down the share price a little bit at the same time. So it has been selling off over the past six months. And it actually dropped below $38 in middle of May. That was kind of the lows over the past little while. And it's slowly been bouncing back again, like most renewable stocks have. And if we go to the max chart, you can really see how Northland Power has been consistently growing over the past 20 years, especially over the past 10 years. It was slow growth, consistent growth, and now it's really starting to see that rapid growth as the renewable sector becomes more and more in demand, especially with the new plan in the US. A lot of more infrastructure is going to be going towards renewables. And analysts also think this is going to be the case. As you can see, that currently has nine analyst ratings on Northland Power, seven of which are buys and two are holds with the average analyst price target being at over $49, a 16% upside from the current share prices. And the high price targets are actually sitting around $55, which is crazy. You're looking at a more of a 25% gain. And remember, that's a 12-month forecast. Transalto Renewables currently trades at $20.80 per share and has a market cap of $5.5 billion. So this one sits right in between Severia Corp and Northland Power in terms of size of the company. And this is a company that offers a much higher dividend yield in the renewable space over Northland Power, as the dividend yield for Transalta Renewables sits at 4.5% or $0.94 cents per share. So this is definitely the better company in terms of the dividend. If you're looking for a cash flow generating stock on a monthly basis, this is definitely a good one in the renewable space. It has a P ratio just over 39. So it does trade at a little bit higher of a premium in, with respect to Northland Power. As it does have the higher dividend yield and has a higher dividend payout ratio, Northland Power is a much more balanced one between the dividend and the growth. I think Transalto Renewables, because it has the higher dividend yield, will see less capital appreciation in growth and share price. But if you're somebody who focuses more on dividends, this is definitely the winner. If you're looking at someone who wants more growth with just the benefit of having a dividend, I would probably say Northland Powers. So they both definitely have pros and cons depending on your scenario. But if we look at the stock price over the past month for Transalta Renewables, you can really see the momentum it's been gaining over the past month. It's up five to 6% in the past month alone. It's been doing really well over the past month as renewables start to bounce back. As you see, Transalta Renewables has been trading down over the past six months. It had a high of almost $24 back in January, and since then it declined. But now we're starting to see that reverse, and we're starting to see Transalta Renewables really gain momentum and push back up. And it's now testing this kind of resistance level around the $21 range, which is nice to see. So those were two really solid renewable monthly paying dividend stocks in the forms of Northland Power and Transalta Renewables. And ironically, the fourth monthly paying dividend stock is kind of the opposite of this sector as it is in the oil and gas sector. I'm somebody who still thinks the oil and gas companies are really solid investments for the next few years, but not much longer than that. My investment horizon when I invest into these oil and gas companies is probably three years or so. As I do think over the coming decades, we are going to see that big shift away from the oil and gas industry and more towards renewable options. But keeping that in mind, I think this next monthly paying dividend stock is still a really viable option in today's market. It is Pembina Pipeline, ticker symbol PPL. Pembina Pipeline Corporation currently trades trades at $39.51 per share and has a market cap of $21 billion. So this is definitely the largest company that we're going to be focusing as this company has been around for quite a while. And in terms of the dividend yield, this is the highest dividend yield of all the stocks we've covered today. And by a significant amount, as Pembina Pipeline has a dividend yield of 6.38%, which is stellar. And every share offers an annual dividend of $2.52, which equates to $0.21 cents every single month for every single share of Pembina Pipeline. So this is an awesome dividend stock that really helps generate a cash flow every single month in your account. And if we look at the share price over the past little while, we can actually see that over the past six months, Pembina Pipeline has been going on an absolute tear as the energy sector in general has been doing extremely well. As Pembina has gone from $30 per share all the way to above $40 at one point, it's now back down a little bit below that $40 range, but that's a 33% growth over the past six months. But I don't think Pembina Pipeline is done quite yet as it was trading above $50 per share pre-pandemic. 
So there's still a 25% upside from the current prices to get back to those levels. And we are starting to really see it get that momentum in that upwards direction back towards those pre-pandemic highs. And what I also really like about Pembina Pipeline is that they are investing into more green and sustainable parts to their business, such as wind and hydrogen, as well as a few others. So they are investing into more renewable spaces to try to get the better carbon footprint, which I really like moving forward. I also think the dividend yield is quite safe if we actually look at the kind of cash that they're generating from the operations and compare that to the actual amount that they're paying out in terms of their dividend. You can see that there's quite a substantial difference. So they are generating much more cash than they actually are paying out for their dividend. So I really think this is one that's sustainable going forward. So there you have it, four monthly paying dividend stocks across three different sectors that all offer those monthly dividends to generate a cash flow on a consistent basis, whether that is something you are looking for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember that I will be doing a video probably next week on real estate investment trusts. So another great source of monthly cash flow from REITs. But if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Lots more content coming your way. I'll see you in the next one.